September 27, 27. What is a great bait to throw when we got a little wind blowing, like the wind's starting to blow this morning, a little cloud cover, and the water's got a little chop on the top of it. What is a really good bait to throw? Good morning, guys and girls. September 27, September 27. Reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel. This channel, we go through a scripture from the Word of God every single day, a scripture from the Word of God, a fishing tip for the every day, every single day, and a devotional that's built around fishing, a devotional built around fishing. The title is Catch a Better Life. I wrote this book, uh, it took me a couple of years to write it. We put it out last year, and it will absolutely do what the title says. It will change your life for the better. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, get involved in it. Watch this video every single day. If you want to copy this book, you can get it at... Uh, at uh, uh, jimmyhouston.com. Give us a call to uh, order the book or whatever, and we'll be happy to sign it, autograph it for you. If you've got your own copy, send it to us. We'll be happy to autograph it, sign it, personalize it to somebody, send it back to you. You can get them at Bass Pro Shop. You can get them at Cabela's, Barnes & Noble, Hobby Lobby, just about anywhere. Books a million. Just about anywhere, uh, Barnes & Noble. Just about anywhere books are sold. I keep things keep popping into my mind. Um, today... Uh, Second Chronicles 2020 says, Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. What in the world can I write about something like that? I like it when a scripture's got be established and prosper in it. That's good for us. Many have said that confidence, confidence is the best lure in your tackle box. Well, I don't know about that, but I do know that you've got to believe you're going to catch a fish on the very next cast. That's right, on the very next cast. If I get a rod and reel and throw it out here today, I'll be able to catch one on the first cast. Not an hour from now, or when the clouds roll in, the clouds are here this morning, but this very cast, and I keep believing, <laughs> I keep believing, cast after cast after cast after cast. I believe all day long I'm going to catch a fish the very next cast. When I believe I'm not going to catch one, I crank my motor up or I get off and head off down the bank and look for another spot to make that very next cast in where I do believe that I'm going to catch one. Did you know that you can believe your way into success or believe your way into failure? That's right. You can believe your way into it. God was not saying in this verse that you might be established or that you might prosper. God said in this verse right here, you will prosper. Not maybe that you will. His only one requirement is that you believe. You believe. How can God promise this? How can God promise it? All we got to do is believe, believe in him, believe in what his prophet said, we'll prosper. He believes because he can make it happen. He believes because he can make it happen in your life and mine. And I've seen God over and over and over again in my lifetime make it happen. He's not just a God of the natural. The God we serve is supernatural. He's a supernatural God. He can move mountains. He can cause us to defeat giants. He can cause us to walk on water. He can create opportunities. Let us meet the right people. He can redefine your ideas. He can change your thinking around to where you're thinking better ideas. He can improve your work habits. Believe. Believe and you shall prosper. Believe and you shall prosper. Don't we serve a mighty God? Don't we serve a mighty God that simply asks us to believe and trust and obey, and he'll do incredibly great things in our life. As Jerry Cox says, he'll bless your socks off. He'll bless your socks off. Here's our tip for today. It's a real simple one, but it's a good one, and it really, really works. Use larger buzz baits in choppy water. Yeah, if you got a little chop on the water, cloudy day like today, windy day, great time to use a buzz bait. And use the larger size ones, the ones that's got the big blades on them. Real calm, slick water. Got a little wind blowing here, and we're in on kind of a lee side right here behind me. If you can look out there behind and see that you got a little chop on the water. In calm water, you want to use the smaller spinner baits. That's our smaller buzz baits. Smaller spinner baits, too, in calmer water. Chop water, water, a little chop, a little rough on top of the water. Make some big, use the big buzz baits and the big blades. Make a lot of noise. Create a lot of noise up there. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.